five, four, three, two, one. Ignition, lift off, simplify, aim high. The progressive left is once again exercising its influence over the Biden administration. White House correspondent Kevin Cork tracking the latest developments tonight. Good evening, Kevin. Evening, Mike. Now, what a difference a few hours can make. Now, that's true just about everywhere, but today in particular here in Washington, you see, first the White House suggested it wouldn't raise the refugee cap. Then it said it would. But critics say this flip-flop is actually part of a much larger pattern by the administration to cave to the progressive wing of the Democrat Party whenever the pressure gets too great. Early afternoon, Dateline, Washington, D.C. The Associated Press headline blared, Biden signs order to speed refugee admissions, but doesn't lift Trump's historically low refugee cap for a year. The emergency presidential determination on refugee admissions for fiscal year 2021 appeared to leave intact the Trump administration's refugee cap at 15,000, significantly less than Biden's campaign promise to reverse the cap and allow more than 60,000 this year alone. That brought on an avalanche of protests from his own party. Biden has broken his promise to restore our humanity. Say it ain't so, President Joe. POTUS IS RENEGGING ON A KEY PROMISE TO WELCOME REFUGEES. DEEPLY DISAPPOINTED. COMPLETELY AND UTTERLY UNACCEPTABLE. KEEP YOUR PROMISE. THE ADMINISTRATION INITIALLY BLAMED ITS DECISION ON THE CHALLENGES OF THE COVID PANDEMIC AND THE NEED TO REBUILD THE PROGRAM. BUT THEN, JUST A FEW HOURS LATER AT 4.37 P.M., CITING, QUOTE, SOME CONFUSION. The White House issued a clarification, acknowledging that the administration's initial goal of settling 62,500 refugees this year, as announced by Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, was too ambitious and seemed, quote, unlikely, with White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki blaming, you guessed it, the Trump administration for the decimated refugee admissions program we inherited. The Democratic infighting comes amid concerns on the left that despite a promise to stop seizing border wall land, the Biden Justice Department is still doing it. With the government this week seizing six acres from a family in Hidalgo County, Texas, fueling fears that the government will continue building one of the most enduring symbols of the Trump presidency, the border wall. The family impacted told Reason, quote, we are utterly devastated. We thought President Joe Biden would protect us. Now we've lost our land. We don't even know what comes next. As you can well imagine, this is a flashpoint for the administration because, as we were just demonstrated in this piece, if they run afoul of the party's progressive wing, they can generally expect political pushback and perhaps even more. Mike? Very interesting. Kevin Cork live here in Washington. Kevin, thanks a lot.